everybody and welcome back to Premiere Gal. In this video, you're going to learn how to make anything react to music or sound effects. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing as well as hitting that notification bell so you're notified when I make new video editing and production tips and tutorials every week. All right, so before we jump in, just wanna let you know that if you go down to the description box below, you can find a time-coded breakdown of everything I cover in this tutorial. So if you feel like you need to skip ahead to get to something you wanna see, go ahead and just click on those time codes and it'll take you right to the point that you need to be. All right, so let's jump in. So here in After Effects, I have my completed final sequence, which I'm going to break down to show you how I made this text react to music. So the first step for us is to create a new composition. So let's just close these down here and let's right click on this clip here. This clip actually is a stock video clip that I got from Motion Array. It's just an aerial shot that I thought would be great to play as a background stock video for this particular effect. So let's right click on this clip and create new comp from selection. And this will create a new comp automatically. You can right click, go to composition settings and you can rename this composition as you want. I'll just name it to demo. Now let's create our text. So let's use the horizontal type tool and let's type out our text. I'm going to type out audio react and then I'm just going to move it into the center of the frame here. And I'm going to make the size of the text just a tad bit smaller, let's say around 500. All right, cool. And the next step here is just to make sure that it is center aligned. If you do not have it center aligned, just be sure to change it to center text by paragraph because we want it to scale up from the center. Also with the text layer selected, hit A on your keyboard and just move this anchor point here more towards the center. So that way, when we scale it up, it doesn't scale from the bottom center, but actually in the center of the frame. So you're just going to have to move that back up and then you can recenter it perfectly in the frame using the align tab here. So select align horizontally and it will align it horizontally and select align vertically and it will align it vertically in the center. So now that we have the text, the next step is to drag in our music track. Let's go ahead and turn off the sound from this video. We don't want that. So from sound here, I chose this chill vibes music track from Production Crate. Production Crate is awesome. I use them all the time. They have tons of visual effects, motion graphics, and they also have a huge library of sound effects and music that a lot of people don't know about. It's just $49 per year to access unlimited assets, which is a great price for YouTubers as well as independent filmmakers. And there's also some free items too. So you guys should sign up, should check it out with my affiliate link in my description box below. All right, so what we need to do to get this into the comp is just drag and drop it. And now the next step is to create keyframes from this music. To do that, we're going to right click, go to keyframe assistant, Convert audio to keyframes. This just created an audio amplitude layer. And if you toggle down from effects, you can see that it created three slider expression controls for left, right, and both channels. Because our music track is stereo, and most likely yours is as well, that means it already has a left and a right combined. So we can get rid of the left just by hitting delete, as well as the right. And so now we have the stereo both channels version. And if we use the zoom slider here, you can actually see that it created at every moment here, a keyframe to go along with the music. And to make better sense of this, if you actually click on graph editor and you select the slider, you will see that it's actually a keyframe mimicking the wave of the audio. So there's a point for every moment. And from zero to 50, this is the audio range. So it has a keyframe for every range point of this song, okay? So we'll get more into the graph editor later, but now is the cool part where we actually get to animate one of the parameters of this text, such as the scale to move to the movement of the keyframes that we just created from this audio track. So let's go ahead and toggle down and to activate expressions to animate the scale, you're going to hit the Alt Option key and select the stopwatch. And from here, we're going to toggle down to open up so we have the slider here, and we're going to use this pick whip, which is this little swirly guy here, and we're going to pick whip it to the slider, all right? 
and immediately you will see, if we play it back, that it's animating to the music. And it looks great, except it actually shrunk the text down, which is fine if you want that effect, if you want it to be that small, but I want it to be the same scale as it was before. So to do that, it's very basic. You just need to go in and edit this expression. If you use the arrow keys, you can move down. And all we have to do is add the plus and another bracket, and we need to put 100 comma 100 end bracket. And what this is doing is saying, hey, expression, we want you to stay at 100% of the original scale on both the x axis, which is this number, and the y axis, which is this number. And now if I just click out, you can see that it goes back to its normal scale. So that's looking pretty good. You can also apply the same effect to any one of these other parameters. For example, opacity, if you wanted to do the same thing, just hit Alt Option again, and then pick whip it to the slider. And now what this is doing, it's animating the opacity value to animate to the audio amplitude as well. So if I sort of scrub through here, you can see that it goes from being 12% opacity up to 40% opacity. It's, it's pretty cool. If you want this effect, you know, you can certainly use this effect for certain occasions, but for this particular video, I'm not going to use that. And you can certainly turn off expressions for any parameter simply by alt option, clicking the stopwatch again. And now that animation of the opacity is gone. All right. So that is how you do it just by default. But let's say you want to customize and actually make the keyframes ease in more and also control what audio units, what audio range your text is reacting to. And so I'm going to show you how you can customize that. So this is when we go back to the graph editor. So you're going to click on that again, make sure the slider is selected so you can see the keyframes here. And what we're going to do is type in an expression here. So we need to activate the expressions on the slider using the Alt Option key, just like we did before. So Alt Option, click, and now you can see that we have a field here for editing the expression. And if you do not see that, make sure that you select this button here and make sure that Show Expression Editor is turned on with a check mark. So before I type in the expression, let's analyze what the range of our audio is here. So if we scale in, you can kind of get a better picture here. And you can see that the lowest one is about eight units. And up at the top here, we have 43. Up here, we have 45. And later on, you can even see that we have even higher ones up past 50. So you can customize this to only animate, let's say between 10 and 40. You can choose 20 to 40, 30 to 50 if you want. I'd encourage you guys to play around with the music that you want because every music is different. It will have a different range. So you can play around with the expression that I'm about to show you. So follow along here. You're going to type out linear parenthesis, then value, then comma. And now this first numerical value will be the lower audio range. So let's say we want it to be between 10 and then we, that's a low one, 10. And then we want the highest audio range to be, let's say 45. Okay, so now we are telling it, the text to only react between 10 and 45 here. So anything below 10 and anything above 45 will essentially not be animated. And then here is where we want it to say, we want it to be scaled, reacted, at this scale. So the low end of the scale being zero. And let's say we don't want it to get too big. So let's just set it to 50 here. And then I'm just going to click off. You can see a better reflection of the reaction range if I make this even lower, let's say to just 20. And you can see how it just got smaller here. So now it's not reacting as much as when it was 50, right? It's only reacting a little bit. Now let's move this back to 60 and you'll see a difference. So 
so it's almost double the size, right? And it just depends on how much of a dramatic effect you want. That might be too big for you, so just bring it back down. I'm gonna bring it down to 50. And then let's say you want it to be more smooth of an animation. Right now, these are linear keyframes. This is a linear expression. So the points are moving to and from in a linear path. But let's say you want it to be more of an ease type of animation. Just simply select the linear here, the word linear, and replace it with ease. And now when we play it back, it'll have more of an ease type of animation. So what we just did was make this text react to the music, which is super cool, but you can also make it react to logos or any other types of objects. So I did the exact same thing, but to my gal logo, I basically did the scale expression. I pick whipped it to the slider, just like I showed you. And now you can see that my logo is animating to the music. There we go. And as final touches in this demo, in my opening, you saw that it has a kind of retro feel, right? It has an RGB split and a VHS kind of look to it in the background. So to do that, I actually used a plugin called Universe by Red Giant. And I went over to effects and presets here. I searched for uni.rgb and I dragged and dropped this onto the text layer and I changed the radius to about nine. And I also added a bit of distortion as well. And then to the actual video in the backdrop here, the forest, I searched for uni.vhs, which is part of the stylize. And I dragged and dropped it onto this clip here. And immediately you see that it applied more of an old school look. And I'm just gonna scale this up to get rid of the VHS distortion on the sides because I don't want that in this scene. So I'm just going to hit S and scale that up. And what's super cool here, and the reason why I'm showing you this, is that you can actually make plugin parameters react to the audio amplitude. So if I hit E on my keyboard to activate effects, and I toggle down from the universe VHS effect, let's say I wanted to make the color channels offset and animate to the music. So if I want the red to offset to make it have sort of like an animated R effect because the RGB effect is red, green, and blue, but what if you only want the R to go offset to make an R react effect? We can do that. So just press Alt Option key and select that stopwatch. And then you guessed it, we're going to pick whip it to the slider. And so now you can see that the edges of the forest trees are now having this little red offset here. And that is just a subtle little effect that you can add in the background. So it doesn't have to be just the text. You can make video effects react to audio as well. So please share the videos that you create with me. I'd love to feature them on social media. And also you guys should enter my current competition. You should watch my Instagram story tutorial and make your own Instagram story to win a pack of 75 plus templates to create awesome Instagram stories. If you go to premiergal.com slash competitions, you can enter there. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. And lastly, you should become a part of the Patreon community where you can get top priority support for your video editing questions, as well as free templates delivered to you every month that I design. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.